The equation C equals 27,500 minus 2,500Q represents the balance in your college payment account after Q quarters. For the first part, we're asked to interpret the slope in this situation. Notice how the given equation is in the form y equals b plus mx, where m, the coefficient of x, is the slope, which is the change of y divided by the change of x. But in our case, we don't have y and x, we have c and q, and therefore in our situation, the slope m is equal to the change in c, which represents the change in the account balance in dollars, divided by the change in q, which represents the change in quarters. And for our equation, the slope is the coefficient of q, not the coefficient of x. So the slope is negative 2,500 because of the subtraction. To interpret the meaning of this, we want to write this in fraction form with the denominator of one and then include units. So the slope is equal to negative 2,500 over one, but the change in c is in dollars. So this represents negative $2,500, and Q is in quarters, so this represents one quarter. So the slope is telling us that the account balance decreases by $2,500 per one quarter, or each quarter. We know it's decreasing because this value here is negative. So as a sentence, the balance in this account is decreasing at a rate of $2,500 per quarter. Notice how we don't include the negative sign here because, because that's indicated by stating the account is decreasing. Next, we're asked to interpret the initial value in this situation. Going back to the notes, B graphically is the vertical intercept, but it's also often called the initial value or starting value, which is the Y value when X is zero. So notice in our equation, B is equal to 27,500, which is the initial or starting value of the college payment account when Q, the number of quarters, equals zero. So as a complete sentence, we can say after zero quarters, or right before you start college, the balance in the account is $27,500. And for the third question, how many quarters will this account pay for? Remember the account balance is equal to C. To answer this question, we set C equal to zero and solve for Q. Setting C equal to zero gives us the equation zero equals 27,500 minus 2,500Q. Graphically, this would give us the horizontal intercept. To solve for Q, let's add 2,500Q to both sides. Simplifying, we now have 2,500Q equals, this simplifies to zero, so we just have 27,500. And now to solve for Q, we divide both sides by 2,500. Simplifying, this quotient is one, one times Q is Q. We have Q equals 27,500 divided by 2,500, which is equal to 11. So now we know you can pay for 11 quarters before the money in this account is gone or the balance is zero. I hope you found this helpful.